Hello, we're going back to slow cooking. Um, today I'm winging it. I had an idea for a recipe. What is the issue? I'm just trying to get you in a good light. Any light. There we go. There any we go. light I'm in is a good light. That's true. That's perfect. So, um, hopefully you're enjoying the music. That's Steve Martin and Edie Brickell. That happened. Um, anyway, we're going to do like a Mexican chicken kind of thing that we can eat on during the week. Put on like tortillas or serve it with nachos or over rice or anything. So I'm starting off with about a pound of chicken breasts. And what we're going to throw in is one can of black beans. You right there? I'm, yes, I'm <coughs> fine. Can of black beans. <coughs> we'll be back in a second once we figure out what all's there. <coughs> so the dog was just barking at somebody checking their mail because that's what he does. Anyway, we had a can of black beans in. I uh, got a can of <coughs> stewed tomatoes in. Boy. <coughs> all right, we'll be back in a second. <coughs> well, we're back. We have uh, pacified the dogs. So, now we'll get back to cooking. So now, if I remember correctly, we got about a pound of chicken. Yeah, black beans. A can of black beans, drain. Got a can of stewed tomatoes in here. Um, something I read said not to use the diced if you can help it because there's like weird chemicals in there that help keep it in shape that aren't in the stewed tomatoes. So we've just gone to the stewed tomatoes all the time because they fall apart in the slow cooker anyway. Got one pepper in adobo sauce. Get that's those. one pepper? That's one pepper. Wow. And that's that's actually going to be a fair amount of heat, so I'm not going to need much else in the way of heat. So you're going to want to get all that in there. Uh, I got half a red bell pepper, half an onion. I'm only doing halves because I'm only using a pound of meat, so for once I'm not actually going to jam the slow cooker beyond capacity. Oh, what's the fun in that? Well, yours... Try not to break your porcelain knife there. That's ceramic. That's what I meant. Okay, a little bit Either of way, try not ceramic. to break it. All right. Um, I'm going to do a shot of uh, Pilsen Latino seasoning from uh, the Spice House. Please start sending me free stuff. I, there's only so many times I'm going to be able to plug your product without <coughs> any sort of recompense. Recompense. That is a highfalutin word that we teachers use. Um, lime juice. I'm kind of going to go with a... Uh, Kind of a margarita feel here. So I'm going to do a tablespoon. So this is going to be a crazy amount of lime flavor. You look con concerned. Uh, um, no more than normal. Since we're doing margarita, I've got a bottle of Sousa. I'm using white tequila. One shot, which is probably a little over an ounce. So we're going to do that. Give it a little stuff in there. I know there's a fair contingent of, among you who follow me who expect that if I'm going to open up a bottle of tequila, I'm going to start drinking from it. And that would be incorrect because I have a bottle of Jim Beam handy, so let me lubricate before we go any further. So I think that's going to be just about it. Um, it's all in there. I'm going to give it a quick push around. I really don't know how long we're going to cook it. So, um, I'm just going to go on low, I don't know, the standard is usually five, six hours. So it's already on low, so we've got it, I'll go find the lid, and uh, we'll find it. Okay. We'll see you in about six hours, cheers. Alright, we're back, I don't know how long it's been. Five hours, I said, maybe a little more. Um, this is the uh, Mexican chicken that I winged. Um, I'm here. coming. I'm coming. What? <sighs> Dogs. There it is. Oh, wow. Um, here, that you know what? I good. got an idea. Give me an oven mitt. I'll get an oven mitt. There you go. That's Watch a good plan. Can. All right. Ooh. Oh, cats. Ooh. Fanciful. That cat is available for weddings and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> She's or a good girl. Stir fry. I mean, whatever you want. So, I'll bring this down just for tasting. I mean, it's. Chicken's done. Ooh, that smells good. I'm just try to break a piece off here. Arr, there we go. All right, you want to go first or should I? No, I don't even want to taste this. I want to taste what I made. Okay, so I'll taste mine. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> There's an onion in there. I wanted it. Not a lot of heat. I'll probably end up throwing another 
pepper in there or some hot sauce or something. But it's got a decent flavor. There's a lot going on in there. Uh, I think the tequila and lime worked pretty well in there. Certainly don't need salt for it because that was in the can of tomatoes. But uh, that is pretty good. I mean, there's, there's what the chicken looks like. I mean, it's just slow cooker chicken and eventually just comes apart. <laughs> Try another piece just to make sure. So we get some beans and tomatoes so you can get the full. Son of a... <laughs> Whatever. It's good. That'll be lunches for the week, a couple dinners. Like I said, we'll serve it on rice, we'll serve it in taco shells. I mean, it's, it's good. And I also found a piece of pepper that had been hiding in there, so it does have a little bit of heat. So, uh, slow cooker, we'll call it margarita chicken, because it's got uh, tequila and... Uh, lime. Lime, yeah. So, there you have it. We're calling it a tequila lime chicken in the slow cooker. Good times.